Then everybody, uh, welcome along to the Williams 2022 Champion Career Mode, a season where we're supposed to be world champion of the Williams in the 2022 season, but that has not gone to plan. We're already out of contention for the, uh, the, the title, so it's going to be a case of ideally going for a runner-up spot, but a bad result last time out has really compromised us. We got a DNF, we hit the wall, although it looks like we would have DNF'd anyway. After the race, the game reported some sort of uh, engine issue, which didn't actually happen to us. So uh, I think we actually should have retired anyway, but uh, yeah, DNF last time out, a few wins in a row before that. We need to bounce back with some wins now if we want to be anywhere near a runner-up spot. And even then, if we want to be anywhere near just P3 in the standings. I know that's good in the 2020 Williams, but that's not what we've been aiming for. Let's get into it. Oh, look, we've got the fusion upgrade's gone on. And that's him talking about that engine failure, which we never actually got. That's the engine we ran. Everything's highlighted there is the engine we ran in the last race. But nothing actually failed on us. But he's talking about an engine issue, which makes me think if we run that engine again, it'll fail on us again. Or maybe not. I don't, I don't know how this works. If you're scheduled to have an engine failure and you retire, what happens to that engine that's scheduled to fail? Does it still schedule in 10 laps time? Maybe we'll use it for practice and find out. Now, a minor rear downforce just went on. Okay. Now, the problem is we're starting to run out of upgrades. There's no more at all on aero. We've done every single aero upgrade we can right now with the facilities we've got. There's the facilities. That's the problem with aero and chassis spec one. And the team at the moment aren't buying anything new. So, nothing more to do on aero. Chassis. Nothing more on chassis. Engine or oh, supplier upgrade, which is a minor engine power. Now, engine, I... Well, no, engine, I'm doing the last one. That's it. There's no more upgrades for us. Other than the ones that are going to hopefully go on. That's it. There's nothing else. 25. I think we can afford 25 points. <laughs> I may as well rush it because it'd be so... It costs us, I think, 12 points to redo it. It's just nothing. Tempted to go for this as well because it's only 200 points. We've got a lot. Yeah, I'll go for that as well. May as well. Just because we've got so many points. We haven't got any way to spend them right now. May as well. There you go. Major your fuel efficiency, and that is it for, 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 for performance. Although, of course, we are at the moment the best car in F1. So that's helping us. But as of, unless we get a facility upgrade ASAP, as of the US Grand Prix, we'll start to fall back. Next race should be okay with another couple of upgrades coming on, but it's, it is going to affect us. Oh, you get 480 components. And that's interesting. Engine issue was super unfortunate, which I didn't actually get. We should make sure to invest in chassis upgrades and consider swapping out engine components when they're on the last legs. Chassis upgrades? What's he talking about? Oh, hello. Okay. Now, this is obviously only supposed to be a single season career mode. And we've got a wet race. Oh, I don't want a wet race. I genuinely enjoy driving this game in the dry. I don't love it in the wet. But it's going to be enters the whole race. Anyway, we have moved forward as of Mercedes look. But we have just about extended our advantage as the, uh, the fastest car in F1. Only by a tiny bit over Mercedes. Everyone has had, had some upgrades to this race, pretty much, apart from the, 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 the worst three teams. But these advantages there that we've, we've got going now. We've got that major fuel efficiency going on in the next race as well. Uh, okay, so it's actually durability and powertrain. Uh, of course, it's the one department powertrain that we've got a spec to. It's absolutely typical. Yeah, we'll just we'll wait for some more discounts on, on, on this stuff because... Yeah, I just don't... I don't not plans to do another season anyway, so... If you keep the engine, you get an early night, you reckon? I kind of want to test it, but you're right, it is a bit of a risk. What do I do? Do I just go to a whole brand new engine? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I think you're probably right. I think it's a bit risky to keep it. We'll do what we can. Come on. Oh, no. It's last Aston Martin for exit. Please. Oh, no. Please. Break, 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 break. No. Good. Very good. Oh, what the hell is that? Jammed on the brakes. Literally right on the apex. That should be flat. That should be flat. The tires over each other. Don't hit us. 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 Oh my god, that was so close. That was my worry. We're going quicker through the corners so the tires might overheat. That's exactly what just happened to us. Let's go. Let's go. Round off that exit. We should just about get. Please break. Please break. Oh god. What's going to happen again then? Hopefully, our car performance. We are still the quickest car in F1. Hopefully, that carries us a little bit here. Wow. So much good through there. Definitely not getting the most out of these wings right now. So we need to push a bit harder next time. I'll lower the rear tire pressures to help us not have to worry about the temperatures of the rear. Okay, there's the lap done. Seven. Two ten is that two tenths off pole? That's not too bad. That's the case. Okay, eight tenths off pole. That feels about right to be honest. We're still purple in the final sector somehow. Okay, eight tenths off. Ready, yeah. Let's go. That doesn't surprise me. We've probably got half a second in us, I'd have thought, so it maybe won't be too bad. Right, come on. Lights find half a second if I can. Not be easy though. 
least, at least three tenths I want from this lap. Oh, it's got a bit hot then as well. Boost on the exit, but it's not too bad. Three and a half tenths. Be good final chicane. Need to find about a tenth of the final chicane. Okay, a bit must be in the second part, but we do find half a second. Just about. We find that half a second we were looking for. Purple final sector again puts up to P7. That's not too bad. So we are now without qualifying our teammate now. I'll tell you what, under three tenths from pole. It's not impossible we could find three tenths on this final lap, but it's gonna need a good lap. We are still slightly quicker in the final sector as well. Let's go, let's go. Do what we can here, do what we can. It's not gonna be easy. Three tenths to pole right now. People will improve, so I wanna find some sort of improvement. Full set, come on. No, that's not ideal. That was looking like a pretty good sector there. The rears are just right now. That costs us some time for sure, that's a shame. Find the time like I need to. Better speed all the way through there. That was nice. Didn't gain much though, but tenth and a half up. It's not too bad. We were only three tenths of pole, don't forget, originally. So tenth and a half is not bad. Not going to take pole, but you should see us hopefully back into the top ten. Feel great. We found some time though. We found a lot of time actually. Almost three tenths up, but I don't think it'll give us pole, but it should fire us up the order. Up to P3. Let's go. P3 is good. With that compromise setup, that's good. Didn't feel like I nailed that lap, but it was enough. It was enough. P3. That was very marginal. We gained, what did we gain? Almost a tenth for that final turn. So if we just matched our final turn instead of gaining that much time, we'd have been down to P9 right now. Massive difference. The, the grid is so close. All right, any penalties? We should be P3. Could be some penalties. I didn't see what our teammate, teammate was, actually. He's only about P10. No, no penalties in front of me. But it is Inters, guys. I think it would be Inters the whole race. Now, can we pull off a zero stop? The game doesn't think we can. I need you guys to keep an eye on that for me to see if we can pull off the zero stop. We may not need to. If we end up out in front, we may as well stop. But the zero stop is always a good option. I have high wings, don't forget, so we're going to struggle. Now, setup. I need to adjust this because that is going to be horrendous in the wet. I might go two clicks higher to be safe to make sure I'm not too understeery. That would be nine clicks higher would be horrendous in the wet. That's probably about right. That'll enable us to understeer. You want understeer in the wet. We also want to jack this up probably all the way to the top because I don't think the inters ever really overheat. I'll go two clicks lower than the top just to be safe. All right, see how late I can break. As I always do. There. Way too early. Look at that. I keep doing 30 meters too early. I got a bit scared. It's going to come in a bit hot, but 0.3 is not bad. Hopefully, we can make some good, good inroads here. Into at least P3 in the standings. Right, come on, guys. Good start, please. Not bad. Oh, okay. Maybe we're we'll quicker in a straight. Oh, I'm getting squeezed off track. Squeeze off track a bit there by the Mercedes. I'm still, I'm still here. 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 No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I have to back out of that. I was trying to be sneaky there and stay alongside Hamilton. It wasn't working out for me. Got a warning for that on the exit, which is fair. I did feel like I got squeezed out a little bit. Big slide there of Hamilton. Let's just get used to this right now. The AI are always quick on lap one in the wet. I always... Oh, oh, my word. That was close to a spin. That was very close to a spin. Oh, he just hit me a little bit there, but we get... We managed to hold on to P4 at least. That was that was a big moment. Oh, someone's having a whoopsie behind there, I think. No, it's not flat. It's not flat in racing conditions. Which is it's flat on the uh, formation lap. Okay, not sure where the tries or into the fast. No way. Right Simply don't believe him. Simply do not believe him. That doesn't mean it's not gonna necessarily somehow dry up, but it shouldn't do. It's not I mean look at it, it doesn't look very ready for drives, does it? Yeah, AI all over me in this sector. I'm losing time at the moment to the leaders. This is not the race I wanted to have, but I'll say it with whole, with whole judgment for now because I'm still getting used to the conditions. I need to use a bit more ERS as well. Whoa. Try to just push a bit harder, find the limit. Ah, just... I just don't think I'm doing much wrong. I just haven't got performance right now. I think the setup's not quite right for the conditions. Oh, felt better, but I did still get bounced wide. Oh. 
I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to find the time. Okay, a bit more speed through there. I know that's one of the paces I can gain. Short shift for the exit here, maybe, to help get on the power. It's okay. Could be in the 36s, maybe, but middle set, I don't think it was quite as good. 36s? Not quite. 37 0. How much, please? Not bad, not bad. We're back to the leading pack, pretty much. I am into the 36s that lap. Okay. This is more like it. Everything's coming up, Gilhouse. Whoa, a bit of wheel spin over the curb there. Just trying to find the time wherever I can. Use all the track. Use all the throttle. Of course, catching is one thing. Overtaking is quite another because in these conditions, there's no DRS. There's no DRS. Dirty air is a thing as well. It's not a strong thing, but it's still a thing. In these conditions, it does make a difference, especially if you're only catching by a small margin. Do a little mistake from Hamilton. One of the corner exits. That should be another improved lap. Nice. Fast up the race. 36-7. Let's go. And then we are gaining the straights. Okay, let's just try to stick with Hamilton then. As close as we can. Let's check tyre. Condition really, don't I? Hold on. Wait a second. Oh, 28%. Yeah, I'm going to have to box, aren't I? Too early. Speaking about tyres, Hamilton's still sliding everywhere. Oh, big slide from there. This could be an opportunity, maybe, but we can't get the power like they can. We're half a second back still. We might be able to dive bomb into the chicane. We'll see. You don't have to ask me twice. You don't have to ask me twice. Through we go up to P3. We can overtake in these conditions. It may need a mistake, but we can overtake. Okay. Now it's boogie time, guys. Now it's boogie time. I don't think I'm going to change the wing anymore in the pits because there's certain points now where I'm struggling for the rear, not the front. It is a little bit understeery, but if I add wing, although it may be a bit less understeery in the turns, it'll be a really strong for traction on some of the exits. exits so quite a big decision to make. Not sure yet. Ah! I was hoping I could get away with being on that curve to help me rotate the car, but it was too much. Oh, silly. One more of those, we get a penalty. That would be pretty disastrous for our race with how close this is, so let's be careful. Let me get a shot of this lap, but if we keep closing in... Maybe the next lap will be the one. This is a proper marginal race, this one. We've got the AI just right. We have to really push to get anywhere near them. Clerks is falling back a little bit from Norris now. Apparently boxing this lap. A bit worried about the traffic again. I'm up to 30. I'm too worried about traffic. I'm not going to box just yet. I'll overcut rather than undercut just in case of traffic. Because if they get traffic, that will really compromise them. And equally, if I get traffic. So, although it may cost me, if they don't get traffic, it may cost me a little bit on the out lap. On the in lap, sorry. Not going to be close enough this lap, unfortunately. If this is going to be his pit lap, I wanted to be able to get him. Because then, it, you know, he'll lose a load of time when I overtake him. Like Hamilton did. As he boxed out. He does. Okay. Overcut it is. Overcut it is. Full push now. Full push. Please tell me he's going to get some traffic. Very good first sector so far. Car didn't stick like I wanted it to, but it was going around the corners nicely. He has got some traffic. He has got some traffic. The traffic should compromise him. Assuming that is him. That may not be his teammate. Well, one of the Ferraris has got traffic. One hasn't. I don't know which is which. But I don't know how close he is to that Haas. He may have got... If he's the second Ferrari, he may have got traffic anyway. Okay, and we come. Uh, I think he... I don't know which one he is, actually. He hasn't made a massive indent on either the... the Haas or the... Afatari. Lovely stop. Definitely gained some on Norris there. Where is he? He was the second Ferrari. He's the one in front of the Haas. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. He might be okay, you know. I think he might be okay. We are okay. There's a position gain. There you go. That's why he didn't want to box straight away. Up to P2 in this race. Come on, Norris. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Unfortunately, me and Norris got the same tyre freshness. Wouldn't mind him boxing. Just had one lap fresher tyres to take me through the rest of the race. But as it stands, we've got the same tyre freshness. I didn't take the wing change in the pits because I think this car, in the end, with one wants on the limit, it was a, not snappy, but it was balanced, should we say. Come on, Norris. I'm coming for you. Bit of a snap there as I was too busy goading Norris. Careful not to get another warning. One more warning and I'm in getting a three second time penalty. I don't think I could pull a three second time penalty. Three second gap over Norris. Okay, we're definitely closing on Norris. He's at a point two, I did a point nine. Three tenths our last lap. That seems to be what we can gain with a good lap. Let's keep it up. Just trying to keep up some good consistent pace, even when my laps aren't the best. Still just trying to gain on him, even if it's only by a tenth instead of three tenths. Just want to constantly close in on him. Ten laps to go, we've got a decent chunk of time, but I don't want to hang about too long. Just need a 
big. If I can do a huge couple of laps now, near perfect laps, I should be able to get him. Come on, come on, come on. Let us slide there for Norris. He's starting to slide around now, which means I'm putting him under pressure. Come on. I'm barely closed in this lap, but I have closed in. Oh, it's so hard. Just lose that little tiny bit of grip and it really affects me. I'm only about half a tenth to close this lap than was last lap, I think. Oh, man. I'm afraid you've been given the time penalty. <sighs> right, we now got to nail him right now. And just push. Give it our all. Give it our absolute all. Let's try and pull that three-second gap. That may have compromised us too heavily there. We'll see how it turns out. Let's get him into the first turn. Although I'm a bit quicker in the straight. They're so good on the exit. I think. Yeah. Run out of your What? Oh, he's locked up. He's locked up. He's locked up. Huge news. Huge. We snapped through. We snapped through. That was very close to contact. Very, very close to contact. He just locked up at the last second. We just slithered on through. That was so close. So close. And now I need to give it my all. He's given me the lead, but with that penalty, I have to pull a three-second gap if I can. Can we possibly get him up to three seconds? I think it might be close, Shadow. I think we've got a chance at it. Full send mode in a minute. And just dig as deep as we possibly can just to break it a little bit later and just pray it sticks because it isn't enough at the moment. It's full steam ahead now, guys. 1.7 power per final sector. Very similar. 3,000 still than our previous lap. Full send. So we find another 10th or two. I've tried. I tried. No more pace was forthcoming. I don't think we can do this, guys. I think Doris has just got the measure of us. We were barely quicker. We were behind him. I'd hope that when he dropped behind us, we'd be a bit quicker again with him getting dirty air and stuff. But that just has not worked out. It's been a not a bad lap in terms of corners. But we just haven't used the ERS. So how much time are we losing or gaining with the ERS? Let's find out. Wow. A second. A second of lap with the ERS usage. We should have gone for this lap to be fair. I think we've got enough ERS, but don't mind. Uh, okay. Might be about to get P3 here. We need a big final lap. It's because I've saved too much ERS. That's what's happened. I've saved too much ERS. That's exactly what's happened. I'm fully recharged now. Saved way too much ERS. Oh, that's no. Okay, fine, whatever. What? Okay, hold the phone. Did we just get a double warning or something? Because that should have been our second warning. Double warning on lap 20. I don't think I went off track twice on lap 20. I think it's just given me two for the same incident. So, uh, okay, we just have to be careful of track limits on this last lap, guys. But we've got to push like hell to try and get a fastest lap. And also to try and get up to three seconds of George Russell. It is all to play for on this final lap. All to play for. Oh, wait, I'm going to rest on. Let's see. Unfortunately, AI will also be using all that ERS, so I do need to drive quicker down them. It's not just a case of using what I've recharged. Okay, Come on, big lap needed. Two tenths to get him with George Russell. And a 35-5 to beat. A bit too much curb. Oh, it's kicked us so wide. No! I best hope now it's fastest lap. I think that mistake is going to be virtually impossible. It's just going to be P3 for us in this race, but no fastest lap. All this work. Deep. This might be a PB lap, but it's not going to be enough. Norris will instantly beat it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think Norris takes the fastest lap. It's P3. Ah! Oh. Isn't that the second race this season where we crossed the line P1? And not won the race. I'm in France as well, also in wet conditions. As you said, maybe maybe it was tyres, it could well, be tyres. I just felt like my pace wasn't as good at the end one. there. You know, it, sure I felt like I was driving six my six best. Six I did do a fast lap on the race, but uh, of my uh, fa my fastest lap, my best lap on the last lap. But four tenths off the best. I know I made a bit of a mistake. I don't know if I could have found four tenths though. George Russell was suddenly rapid at the end there. I don't know what happened with him. I don't know what they fed him this morning, but he really found some time. It was the same from lap 18 almost to be fair. Low 36 is high 35s. He did not have that sort of pace earlier on. It was those tyres. seems to come alive. They were so damn fast today. I had to give it my all within track limits. Or tried to stay without track limits. It didn't work out. And unfortunately, that has now put me out of stand uh, the contention for P2 in the constructors. Sorry, in the, in the, uh, in the drivers. Um, we're now 170 points back from Max Verstappen. That's actually gone down. And Charlotte Clark's closing in on Max, surprisingly. That's how dominant he's been. But again, it's P3 we have to concentrate on now, which is not what I want, but 42 points with four races to go. Even that's looking unlikely at this stage. This has not been the season I imagined. Still only P8 in the standings. Constructors, though. Uh, wow, McLaren. Of course, McLaren won the race. Yeah, it was P4 I was going for. I don't know if I can get that anymore. P5, yeah. Alpine only two points away, but McLaren now almost 60 points away. This season has not gone how I intended. Not at all. I mean, there you go. You get the fuel efficiency upgrade. 
Ah, oh, personnel upgrade. They've spent money on a personnel upgrade. T, we needed the facilities. We needed, we needed arrow or chassis to go spec to, but no, they spent on personality, which you can't even see because it does nothing. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that one. Definitely a sweaty race. I had to, I get oil today. That was, that was all, that was all that was possible. Uh, yeah, okay. The win was probably possible, but I, I've got no regrets. I, you know, I had to push. I had to give it my all to be anywhere near their pace today. They were rapid. We've only just got the fastest car on that show today. Alex Albon uh, only managed P16 in that race. So I know he had a penalty, but just wasn't able to come forward at all for him. So it's still another podium. It's not bad. It's just not the huge results we need at the end of the season to try and move our way up the standings. I'm still aiming for P3, but it's not even that much of a lofty target anymore. But yeah, other than that, guys, catch you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.